Now you know it, there are some big things that are happening in the economy right now, and I am going to get into how those are affecting things here locally in terms of real estate, what people are doing, what is going on in the world in Southwest Florida real estate market. Now jumping right into it, we know that the results came in that inflation was way out of control in June. Year over year, we're up about 9.1% in inflation. That is insanity. Crazy. We don't want that. The Fed doesn't want that because things are getting out of control. And so we also know that there's a meeting coming up next week for the Federal Reserve to talk about rates. Now, it is expected that they're going to raise the short-term interest rates by about three quarters of a percentage and might even go by 1%. So that is a significant bump. We already had a three quarter percent bump recently and they're going to do it again to continue to put the brakes on the, the inflation that we're just seeing that's getting out of control. Now let's go into the housing market. So this video I'm putting out earlier than what I do my typical market report video because we don't have the monthly numbers yet, but I wanna tell you what's going on right now. So in our market, we're actually seeing some significant things at play. We started in January of 2022 with about 2,900 homes available in all of Southwest Florida that people could purchase. They were on the market ready to be purchased. Fast forward to today, we're over 6,800. That is 136% increase in the amount of homes available to purchase. That is significant. Now in context, that still only puts us at about two and a half months worth of inventory. So we are transitioning right now from a seller's market that's had a hold on our market over the past year and a half to a buyer's market that we are transitioning there. Now I will say that over the past two to three weeks, we have seen that stabilize a bit, that two and a half weeks. It was in a situation where we were increasing our inventory every single week and our supply every single week. And right now we're stabilizing a little bit. So we're gonna see what happens with this trend. I don't know if we stalled out. Clearly we had 4th of July in there. There's always some things, you know, people go out of town and, and less transactions that happen then. But we're starting to you know, have a few more pendings that are going on on a weekly basis. Even though we are having a little bit more come on the market, we're starting to see the, the amount of pendings increase as well. So that's the news. Now the other side of this whole thing is that we're starting to see a cap. We're starting to see pushback on where prices are and have been. One out of every eight homes like eight and a half, has received a price reduction over the course of the past seven days. That's significant and we've been seeing that trend week over week where that's happening. And so this all is coming to play so we're getting pushed back on prices. Interest rates have come up significantly. Now they had a little blip a couple weeks ago where they came down a little, but we're still hovering around five and a half, close to 6% around for interest rates. And so we're going to see what all this does to the market, but it's looking like that trend is going to continue in general. I'd love to know what you think. What is the future? What does that, if you have that crystal ball, please put that in the comments below. Let me know, very anxious to hear about that. And please do me a favor and like and subscribe to the video. Hope you have an amazing week and we will talk to you soon.